What's up guys, Jay Lee here. Um, I just finished a video talking about one of my favorite music artists, John Darnell. Um, probably rambled on too much there at the end, but one of the things I was talking about at the end was um, how much I enjoyed getting out and enjoying um, nature and things like that. And because we have this coronavirus and because we are quarantine so to speak um of course we can still go outside we can still go out and do stuff but you know we're, we're we're trying to social distance and things like that because of that i wanted to make a quick video basically about some things that i ha have done some great things that i've done and chosen to do in my life um that that i decided to do in my 20s that have been um you know, uh, that have benefited me in myriad of ways, particularly my health, particularly my mental health, particularly my, my spiritual and heart health. Um, as far as my, my psychological heart goes, not my physical heart. Well, yeah, my physical heart as well. But, um, and, uh, so I'm, I'm just going to talk briefly about some of those things. Now I know a lot of guys who listen to my content are red pilled and MGTOW. I think this will benefit you guys and help you guys a lot. Um, and, and, you know, during this time, this coronavirus stuff going on, I want to talk about things that'll benefit you because at the end of the day, we can't just always talk about how bad women are, how bad, you know, you know, uh, toxic women, all the bad things these toxic women do, et cetera. You know, at the end of the day, we can talk about what we can do to better ourselves. And that's kind of where I've been at my last few videos. Um, and that's what I want to I want to share with you guys. So today I wanted to share a couple things that um, I do and I started doing in my early 20s that have carried on carried into my 30s. One of those things is to get out and enjoy nature. One of those things, uh, a big one of those things is to do stuff like I'm doing today. Like I'm out here and it's gorgeous. The sun just started coming out right as I was saying this. You know, you got those clouds up there, but now we got a sun peak right here. It's something that I've always enjoyed in my life. Um, and as I was talking about in that John Darnell video, I was saying that when I was in high school, I was a senior in high school, and um, I really got into Henry David Thoreau, and I read his book um, at the at the cat at the lake or something. I forget what that shit's called. What's that? What's that book called? Henry David Thoreau. Ah, I forget. Uh, something about cabin, living in a cabin. Anyway, the guy left society, right? And ironically, when I read that book, etc., that was around the same time I left the Matrix. I had watched the movie, the actual Matrix, and I and, and it, I kind of pieced it together. I was eighteen, nineteen, and I was like, yeah, you know what? This world is this world's kind of fucked up. You know, I don't prescribe to that. I don't want to prescribe to that same old um, hamster on a wheel type life that everybody leads. Oh, I go to college. I get a career. Uh, you know, I was kind of that, I don't know if you've ever seen that movie into the wild. Um, I think it was directed by Sean Penn. I can't remember the, the kid who, I can't remember his name. Um, Emilio something. I forget that kid's name, but it was, it's a good movie. It's about this guy who, who leaves society and he goes hiking and things like that. Um, that, that was kind of me when I was 18, 19, I wanted to leave society behind. I didn't want to go have a career. I didn't want to be the, the career guy. I didn't want to, um, go into that matrix. I wanted to get out of that. I wanted to avoid that at all costs. So one of the things that I did was I took small trips. I lived right by some woods and I would always go out in these woods and I would go, you know, just, just free my mind almost every day, go walking in these woods. And it was just so therapeutic. Um, and I never really stopped doing that. I've always taken walks and I've always driven. If I don't live close, I, I drive to a place like this, this little park, even though it's just a little park, you know, like most cities, you know, unfortunately you might live in a crappy city, but a lot of cities, particularly in America, because America just has such beautiful landscape. America just has such beautiful, um, you know, physical topography that I don't care where you live. You're probably pretty close to something cool. You're probably pretty close to within a few miles of a cool park or a cool landscape area where there is um, something cool to check out or a cool place to walk. And that's something that I learned how to do when I was really young, when I was in my early 20s, and I never really stopped doing that. Taking walks, one of the best things you can do in your life for your health, both physically and uh, spiritually and mentally, emotionally, etc. 
Um, and I think it was Kevin Trudeau. If you ever get a chance, read a book from Kevin Trudeau called The Natural Cures They Don't Want You to Know About. It's a great book, and they put this guy in federal prison, apparently for dodging taxes or something like that. But really, I think, you know, from, from his own testimony, um, he said it was because he called them out. And you, you know, you know the, the pharmaceutical companies, the health industry, et cetera, in America. And, you know, back in the, at the turn of the century to about 2010, there was a big fight between like independent natural cure people and uh, health conscious people who were, who were all for the natural cure thing and then people who were for the pharmaceutical cure thing because there was a lot of money in the pharmaceutical play, uh, cure thing and things like that. Um, and there's a good movie that Jake Gyllenhaal was in. I think it's called Love, Love Actually. I think is what it's called. Love Actually. Something like that. Jake Gyllenhaal and that girl who, who was Catwoman in one of the Batman movies and one of the Christopher Nolan Batman movies. You, you can Google it. Um, I forget. It, 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 it's something about love or love and other. Oh, I think it's called Love and Other Drugs. I'm pretty sure it's called Love and Other Drugs with Jake Gyllenhaal. Great movie, but he, he plays this um, medical rep and he sells pharmaceuticals to doctors. And, and it's, it's, a, it's a pretty great movie, actually, in, in general. It really is a quality movie, all in all. And it's a funny movie, too. But there's a certain point in the movie where he's talking about how, how the doctors push pills on patients because they get bonuses from the pharmaceutical companies. The pharmaceutical companies actually pay them big money and give them trips and things like that, big bonuses, to push certain pills on the patients that they have instead of giving them natural cures and i thought that was that's so fucked up but it's true they do they really do in real life anyway and um the pharmaceutical company is big business in america anyways so when i was in my early 20s like i was reading books like kevin trudeau's you know natural cures they don't want you to know about and i was reading these things and there's another book called phil um it's called Prescription for Natural Healing by Phyllis Balk. And it has all these herbs and all these supplements and lists of, of, of whatever ailment you have, depression, insomnia, pain, whatever, whatever, um, diabetes, whatever you have, you can take some herbs to help heal you or help correct that problem. You can take supplements, certain supplements, vitamin D, vitamin A, vitamin C, vitamin B, whatever, whatever. And it'll help you with your certain ailments. And it's a book, it's a big book called prescription for natural healing by a woman named Phyllis Balk, who was actually a doctor anyway. And I got into all that shit. I got into supplements. I got into herbs. I got into natural healing and I was reading Kevin Trudeau's book. And in that book by Kevin Trudeau, he talks about walking and he says, it's very important that you walk every day. Day. And when you walk, you got to walk a certain way and you got to enjoy your walk. In addition to that, he talks about sleeping on quality mattresses, sleep on quality beds, buy a, invest in a quality bed because you spend, you spend a third of your day in bed, invest in a quality mattress. Also eat organic meat, eat organic foods, etc. He talks about these things and they put the guy in federal prison. I think it was because of the things he said about the pharmaceutical company. Anyways, you can study up on that guy named Kevin Trudeau. But one of the, the main points that I want to say here is get out into nature, get out and go for a walk, do what, um, I think the guy's name is Frank Muir, John Muir, M-U-I-R. A guy went, he, he's one of the founders of the National Forest uh, of, of America. He got out and he enjoyed our forests. He got out and he enjoyed what the earth has to offer, what God made for us on this earth. Get out, go swimming in a local lake. It's beautiful. It, it, you know, it, hopefully if there's not a, a bunch of lead and, uh, lead and chlorine dumped in the lake, you, you, you should probably do your Googles. But um, get out and go swimming, go fishing, go camping, enjoy. Enjoy this wonderful landscape that we have. Enjoy the earth. And that's one thing as a MGTOW guy, as a red pill guy, we can do to make our lives better when we're going our own way or when we're empowering ourselves. Part of self-improvement is to enjoy your soul, is to enjoy your mental health, is to enjoy your emotional health. How can you do that? One of the things is laughter, read funny things, watch funny movies, but also get out and go for walks. Breathe the great air that we have. Breathe the H2O. Uh, go for walks in the these beautiful meadows. Look at these beautiful, gorgeous meadows that we have with all these uh, dandelions and sunflowers and all this great stuff that, that God and the earth has provided for us. Get out and enjoy that. Take a walk every day if you can for your mental health. Trust me, you will feel better. Trust me, after a few months of that, you will be happy. It's, it's It makes you happy doing stuff like that. So that's one of the things I wanted to share with you guys. I appreciate you guys listening to my channel. I hope you guys stay safe um, and God bless. Peace.